How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial. If this is your first time here to the channel, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content if you're looking how to grow or understand the technical side of streaming. Now if you ever have any questions and you need to reach out to me, you can always talk to me on Discord or on my other social media outlets, as well as when I stream over on Twitch. All the information is in the video description below. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about the themes tab here in Streamlabs OBS. So in order to get to that, you're going to want to go over to the top left corner here and you're going to click on what looks like a ruler and maybe a pencil right behind it, right underneath the little camera icon. So the first thing you're going to be presented with here is the, the Prime subscription. And basically this allows you to have different types of themes and there's really a lot of great themes that are offered here. And this video is going to go on for a little little bit of time just because there's a lot of stuff here to cover. But for the most part, basically what this does is it allows you to have a professional looking stream. It gives you the starting stream, starting soon, ending soon or ending stream or whatever, offline and stuff like that, your alerts and everything. So that's pretty much what the theme store is in a nutshell. And it makes it to where you guys don't have to go and have a professional artist go and make it for you and have to spend 80 to $150 for someone to go and make what you want. Now you can still do that and bring that into Streamlabs OBS. That's not a problem because then it's officially yours. It's treated like an image, it's treated like a browser source, it's treated like an alert. But if you don't want to do that and you want to just try to find some free ones on here or if you want to use the actual Prime subscription for $12 a month, you can go ahead and do that as well. Now, when you do click on sign up, it's going to bring you over to this. So you'll be able to do an annual or if you wish to do monthly. So you can do either one. It's $150 if you do it annually, or it's $20 a month if you're going to do it monthly. Now, even though, where'd it go? No, where'd you go? Well, I believe it was $12 a month. That's what I'm trying to find again. It went away. But anyways, there you are. All right, so it says $12 a month, but when I clicked on this, it says the 19. Now, the reason why it's saying 12, for those of you guys who maybe didn't catch it, is it's this one that is considered the 12 because you're saving 40%. So if you do it monthly, you are paying a lot more than if you were to do it annually. So do keep that in mind. And you can use PayPal, credit card, however you want. Now, if you don't want to do this, you do have some that are free, but let me just kind of show you what all you can do with it. So, of course, you have a carousel of different items that are really appealing. You can search for certain ones if you know the name. You can see which ones are mostly installed, the ones that are trending, and the ones that are newly added. You can do animated, which will have like different animated backgrounds, or if you just want it to be static, you can do that too. If you have a certain color theme that goes with your stream, you can do that or you can just leave these unchecked and it's going to give you a massive amount of all different ones. If you're looking for something really specific, like maybe starting soon or the be right back or maybe you're looking for something that's live, you can go ahead and select just those and then it will sort it. If you have a certain category of a game that you are constantly playing, then you can go ahead and select that and it will then sort it based on whatever it is that you had selected. Now, if you're not looking for scenes, you can also do widgets. Now, widgets are going to be stuff like your alert boxes, your goals, credits, viewer count, chat box, streamer boss, and stuff like that. And it follows the same suit. You know, you can still do the mostly installed, trending, so on and so forth, color theme, category, everything like that. And if you're wanting to do sites, because Streamlabs has an, the ability of allowing you guys to have your own sites too, you can also have the same thing. So the same type of navigation applies even through that too. So let's take a look at a scene theme, right? So we'll take a look at, say, the very first one here. Now, this is a prime. This icon here means it's prime. And it will give you an idea of everything that it falls under and what it all includes and then how many people have installed it. So you can kind of cycle through to kind of see like how everything is. So it's an animated one, so it's got a little bit of animation through there. 
and you can see that it's got some type of transition the way that everything would be placed in terms of like latest follower latest donation latest sub you'll be able to put your name here your chat would display here and then you have different types of webcam boxes. So you'll have one basic like this, you have one that's a little bit smaller, or if you have a green screen, then you can stick around with something like that. You have a starting soon, a BRB, and then they also have some ones that are similar to this as well. So it's kind of giving you some suggestions. Now, if you're wanting to not use that one, that's fine. You can go back to listings, and what we'll want to do then is try to find something that is not prime. So you'll be able to tell if it's prime because it's going to say that right there. It's going to say if it's animated as well. So let's try to find one that is not prime. And to be honest with you, those are actually not as easy to come about because they are really trying to push the prime on there because with Streamlabs being a free program and them bringing in artists and everything like that, I couldn't understand that they want to try to you know put something behind a paid wall a little bit so here is a free version we got these from the nerd or die so we'll take a look at the let's say single break okay oh that's a prime let's not do that one let's do this one sorry guys <laughs> um so this one is going to be a, this one's static so you have your overlay package of course so you got your starting stream starting you have different types of ways that this is set up here so it's very very basic but it's clean it's able to be read with no problems and you have different types of webcam boxes and everything like that you have a brb an intermission so this is free for you to use and you'll be able to customize the text and everything like that so that's fine so we'll use this one as an example, and I hope my webcam does not get picked up. So we're gonna try it, install overlay. So now it says that it's adding the scene to your collection, and there we go. So it added everything here. So now I have all of this right here, and this is saying the welcome, you can delete this one. So starting soon. So now this is your starting soon. You'll be able to go into all of these and change anything you need to so schedule is in a folder so you can open up that folder and then you can go in here and if you need to hide anything you can hide it so maybe you don't stream on certain days so you can hide like the times and everything like that and maybe you don't want the schedule period so you can just get rid of it and now you don't even have to worry about it so we can close up the folder and if we click away now it's completely gone so that's all you have right there and then if you wanted to change anything else on there, you absolutely could. So all that stuff is completely editable for you. So that's pretty much how you go ahead and set that up. Now, if you need to add in certain alerts and everything like that, then we go back into themes and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add in some of that too. So for like widgets, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna scroll through until we find another one that's free that way you guys can add those on there too. And when it comes to the ones for like the prime, let's say we go and look at this one here. And you can mix and match however you want and everything like that, it's completely fine. So you can kind of like get a preview of how it looks. So when a new sub comes in, it's got a little bit of an animation to it and it even kind of like has a message for you. So you'll be able to have that for subs and everything like that but if you wanted to keep everything together they do have their own theme and this one's also for prime so if you wanted to you could go ahead and use something like this so you could put like a webcam here or you could put a game there if you are, are going to be stepping away you know you can have like your game chair there and have hashtag respect the chair going on in your chat but you have all this stuff down here i really do like this one by the way <laughs> I, I love I love the simpleness of it, the simplicity, but I just like how clean it is too. But they even have like a website designed to it. So if you wanted to keep things together, Prime is definitely going to work. But let me see if we can find ourselves a free one. Like I said, they're not always easy to find. As you could tell, I'm constantly scrolling here. So let's see if we could find a free one anywhere. Free, free. Here we go. Free. So, if you wanted to have 
Wait, did it bring me back to... Oh, it brought me back to where it was. Okay, I need widgets. Widgets. I need the free widgets. Okay, here we go. Some free widgets. So, here's a widget that you can have if you wish. Or you can even do something like this. When people follow, and then it will work for other things too. So, like follows, hosts, and stuff like that. So, if that's the one you like, you click install. And we'll do this for alert boxes. So, now we got that. So, if I went down here to go and test, let me go ahead and turn those off, turn that off, turn that off. And if we test it for follow, you'll get something like that. You can have that down there if you wanted to. So now you guys can see it better if I do this. And now you guys have a professional looking stream. Just takes a little bit of time to find what you're looking for. And there you go. And then of course, if you wanted it to be on like all the other screens and stuff like that, you'll have to then go in there and add it. So if you wanted to add it in there, you just go back in, do alert box, and then you already got one. So then you go ahead and test it again. And there you go. So any screen you want the alerts to be on, you would have to go and add it in there. But guys, that's pretty much how the themes work and everything. You find what you're looking for, you install it, you adjust what you need to adjust, and there you go. But I know this video was a little bit longer because I wanted to explain as much as I could for it. If there was anything that I missed or if you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and talk to me in the comment section below. And like I said, if you guys ever need to reach out to me, all the stuff is inside the video description and I stream over on Twitch. So if you ever want to come and hang out, you're more than welcome to. You can always talk shop over there as well. But I will catch you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching and take care.